Hey, it's Eric here with Peachtree Classic Cars, and I am helping a friend sell his 1971 Cadillac Eldorado. And it's a really cool car. Um, spent a lot of time sitting in the garage, so uh, rust-free pretty, pretty much. A couple little spots here and a couple tiny little spots I'll show you in a minute, but about 10,000 miles on the rebuilt engine was done years ago. And it's been sitting up. Had it pulled out of the garage, taken to the shop. And uh, carburetor cleaned and rebuilt, fuel filter replaced. Got it back out on the road, check the brakes. The brakes are really responsive. There's a tiny little squeak there around the 25, 30 mile an hour range with the uh, odometer or speedometer cable, which is pretty common. You can actually pull those out and spray a little bit of uh, uh, grease on them. This way is better? Uh, yeah. Okay. He's actually riding with me. He's just gonna be the silent, the silent type. Beautiful neighborhood too. So, dr great driving car. Of course, this is the Cadillac of cars, right? So every power option you can imagine, power seats, power windows, uh, front windows are working perfectly. The rear windows have a little bit of a weak motor. Uh, if you're like me and you're always gonna keep the top down on your, on your uh, com uh, convertible and the windows down and only put them up in an emergency rainstorm or something, uh, personally, I probably would just leave them the motors alone. They're, power, they're strong enough to raise and lower the rear windows. Something that really impresses me about this car um, is the interior. It is um, just incredibly uh, clean. There's a little bit of a shaking noise there, and I know you weren't going to talk, but I, you told me yesterday and I forgot. It's uh, somewhere in the muffler system. Okay, a exhaust a little loose. Okay. Good running. One of the things that I love about Cadillacs, Cadillacs are the number one storytelling car that I hear where uh, they're just so reliable that you can let them sit up for so long, pull them out, clean them up, and they run. They're just, they made amazing engines. So he said about 10,000 miles on the engine rebuild. And the engine actually did not have a lot of miles on it when he rebuilt it, maybe 40,000 original miles. It's just that the plugs, one of the plugs came out, dumped all the oil and ended up needing a rebuild. No rust underneath the car as well. I'm gonna actually, uh, I'm gonna turn this off so we can hear a little better. Also, the horn activates at certain points. I've, just because it's an older car, if you don't have the steering wheel, you know, turned exactly right, it doesn't always honk. Just wanted to show real quick this hood being rust free and solid. Inner fender wells are rust free. Actually, just looking at the car, um, I had, didn't really find any rust. A couple of little spots of surface rust, but didn't find any rust on this car. Now we're doing the video, so you never know. Sometimes live camera will make a liar out of me. But oh, maybe I should. Oh, oh, got to push the uh, the lever in. There we go. Lights all work. Actually, the chrome here in the front looks good. The paint on the car, has, it's been repainted a couple times. It is old and it's got chips all the way around it. Um, and probably would, if you want the car to look perfect, you'd probably want to just go ahead and think about doing a full paint job. The nice thing is, is I think only the exterior needs to be done. You'll notice that paint chips here and there. This is from being in the garage and like he said, this thing spent most of its life just sitting in the garage uh, off and on being driven. Speculating that the odometer is telling us the original miles from the long history of this vehicle's ownership. Uh, I always say the car tells the story and it'll 
tell you if you're lying or telling the truth. And this is to me where the car tells a story that I think it's very possible that this is the original mileage on the car because the upholstery is all original. And it looks beautiful. The dash has no cracks in it. It's not been sitting in the sun. It's been sitting in the garage. So there's no fading. All the wood grain still appears nice. Radio does not work. I tried it yesterday. The blower works, uh, which is nice. And uh, uh, when you turn the blower on, uh, the AC is not running. Uh, I Usually these are fairly simple. Everything for the air conditioner is under the hood or under the dash. So it probably just needs to be changed to 134 and uh, tuned up it would be a fairly affordable thing to do if you wanted to make the AC work. Uh, like I said before, the power windows are all working. Weak in the little in the rear windows and strong in the front. It's pretty common. Original seat upholstery. These seats barely look like they've been sat in. You know, a couple little spots like that. But I actually grew up with my grandmother driving a car very similar to this, and uh, it's funny. It brings back a lot of nostalgia. You said that the top was replaced at some point too. So we'll put the top up and um, you'll be able to see that in the still photography. Um, I want to leave the top down now just because it makes it easier to examine uh, the rest of the vehicle. So trunk is also um, nice and clean. Spare tire is present. Flip that up. Really easy to open that. No rust. Now all these cardboard pieces are in here. We'll kind of try and peek behind, but everything looks good and clean. Original carpet still in here. It's still glued down. Spare tire. Just like it came from Cadillac. Even the old school jack. Those are fun to play with. Original spoked hubcaps, which is super cool as well. Underneath the car, very solid. A couple of spots of surface rust here and there, but this is a really clean car that has every evidence of being kept in the garage all of its life. Never driven in the snow, never driven on rainy days, really. Very fair weathered car. <coughs> I was really tempted to just buy this from my buddy instead of helping him sell it because I wanted to put some Texas Longhorns on the front and kind of make a Boss Hog Cadillac out of it. I know it's not a original, you know, same year as the original. And note, note, please note these floor pans, everything under here is all original. There's no patches, there's no rust. <clears throat> And in fact, I think the only spot that we saw, this, it's really these little spots like this, which to me are, I call that superficial rust. As soon as you sand the car down and either touch it up or paint it, that's all gone if it's prepped correctly. Exhaust was replaced at some point, it looks like. Or maybe not the whole exhaust, but just the mufflers. Fuel tank. These are common rust areas on Cadillacs, and I don't see any. Yeah. Really solid underneath. <clears throat> Same on this side. This is a great, really, really solid. I love this car because I think this is still a car you can jump right in and drive today. Enjoy it right now. Project on it a little bit as time goes on. I want to show this side too. No, I mean, the original undercoating is peeled off. There's a little surface rust there, but there are no rust holes. This is a car that I would basically call a rust-free car. Really solid. I'll tell you one thing that I love about these is they ride like a Cadillac. Um, that's where the term came from. And, uh, and man, is it a smooth ride, easy to steer, uh, power brakes, stops great. Put some put, uh, charge up the AC. I think it could. I think it's not. This is not a quote, but I think that you could fix the AC for a few hundred dollars. Um, I know that putting an entire brand new system in a car like this would cost eighteen hundred dollars. So, with everything being present, I think with for a few for a few hundred bucks you could get it going again. Um, like I said, wipers work, lights work, turn signals work. Um, 
the body is very straight and to repaint it and make it look top notch uh, would take very minimal body work so uh, just basically a sand down and repaint or even a an affordable scuff and shoot i think would work on this car um, which a lot of painters like to do and that's a really affordable way uh, to save some money on a driver quality vehicle you know it'd be really nice so anyways give us a call uh, my phone number is there on the on every ad and uh, we look forward to hearing from you on this 1971 cadillac eldorado